In this episode, we're going to take a look at the giraffe civilization, one that to be honest, we didn't even know about until the turn of the century. So without further ado, let's begin. So for those of you who may not know, Giraffe is the name of a relatively recently discovered culture or civilization from the Bronze Age that came to light around 2001 when a bunch of mysterious ancient artifacts began appearing for sale on the antiquities market. These were pieces of jewelry, fine ceramics, drinking vessels, even board games that were of extraordinary craftsmanship. The objects were also embellished with depictions of humans and animals in various scenarios. At the time, archaeologists didn't know what to make of these objects. Were they even real or simply forgeries? In addition, nobody even knew where they came from. By 2002, even more of these mysterious artifacts showed up. But this time, the Iranian authorities got involved. They confiscated a horde of these artifacts as well as arrested several dealers who were planning to ship them to buyers across the world. Eventually, they were able to find the source of these artifacts. An area near the banks of the Halil River, about 40 kilometers, or 25 miles, south of the town of Giraft in southeastern Iran. That's why we call this civilization the Giraft Civilization. Archaeologists were puzzled because they weren't aware of any archaeological sites in that area. Turns out, though, that in 2001, the Halil River had flooded to such an extent that layers of sediment were washed away, exposing the remains of an ancient cemetery. A bunch of, you could say, local entrepreneurs realized the potential value of what had just been uncovered. And well, you now know the rest of the story. Shortly afterward, archaeologists conducted formal surveys of the area and determined that the undocumented culture discovered here was approximately 5,000 years old, smack in the middle of the Bronze Age. The main excavations began in 2003 and were led by archaeologist Yusef Majidzadeh, but later on also included other specialists from around the world. Along with the cemetery, the team excavated a couple of nearby mounds and discovered the remains of two major architectural complexes, one believed to have been a citadel, and the other perhaps some sort of religious or cultic site. Towards the foot of the mounds beneath the ground were the ruins of smaller buildings, along with many beautiful objects. The initial findings published by Majid Zadeh suggest that the Giraffe site had once been an extensive urban center. In his words, the region of Giraffe was a major occupation of urban character in the region during the 3rd millennium BC. Its center was in the valley of the Halil River, where large sites with monumental architecture, sizable craft production areas, domestic quarters, and extensive extramural cemeteries dominated the landscape. Archaeologists also believe that the giraffe civilization was in close contact with those of both Mesopotamia and the Harappan or Indus River Valley civilization in what's today India and Pakistan. Like these two civilizations, it seems that the people of the giraffe culture had their own writing system, of which several tablets have been discovered, though not deciphered. Among these, there are actually what appear to be two different writing systems on the tablets, one that's strikingly similar to an older form of Elamite, called Linear Elamite, and the other, more geometric script that hasn't been seen before. There are some interesting motifs and imagery that appear on many of the giraffe artifacts, such as depictions of an inverted bull with an eagle hovering above it, as well as battles between eagles and snakes. Those of you familiar with the mythology of ancient Mesopotamia might be reminded of the story of Itana, one of the legendary kings of Uruk who also appears on the Sumerian king list. In one particular story, Itana saves an eagle who had been crippled in a fight with a snake. Once the eagle is restored to full health, it flies Itana to heaven where the king is able to get a magic plant that will allow his wife to have a child, thus allowing him to have an heir for his kingdom. Other objects depict what appear to be scenes from the myth about the Great Flood. Of course, Giraffe is the name that modern archaeologists call the civilization. In reality, 
We don't know what it was called back in the Bronze Age. Majidzade believes that it may have been the fabled land of Arata that's been described in various Sumerian texts. Others though believe that the giraffe site could have been a city or even the capital of the ancient kingdom of Marhashi, a state mentioned several times in Akkadian and Neo-Sumerian texts as being further to the east, past the great Elamite city of Anshan, with whom it was often allied with. In fact, the two were frequently at war with the Akkadian Empire founded by Sargon the Great in the 24th century BC. Most scholars assume that Marhashi was in the approximate area that Giraffe occupies today, that is, the modern Iranian province of Kerman or parts of nearby Baluchistan. A lot of this, though, is mostly speculation. Without more evidence, we really don't yet know the true story of the Giraffe civilization. Archaeologists seem to have only scratched the surface, and what they're finding is causing them to rethink and re-examine what they thought they knew about the civilizations of the ancient Near East. I'm definitely looking forward to what archaeologists will uncover from various giraffe sites in the future. So if you didn't before, I hope that you now know what the giraffe civilization is all about. Thanks so much for stopping by, I really appreciate it. I'd also like to thank GrandKeg69, Pasta Frola, Michael Lewis, and all of the channel's patrons on Patreon for helping to support this and all of the content coming up in the future. Check out the benefits to being a Patreon member, and if you'd like to join, feel free to click the link in the video description. You can also follow History with Psy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also check out the History with Psy podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks again, and stay safe.